Hassan. Stylish was a little worried because she hadn't seen the wolf for days. Either something happened to him or he's making mischievous plans. Either way, I'd better check it out. Wolf, are you inside? But there was no sound inside. Wolf! Then the door opened by itself. Wolf, are you inside? Stylish, is that you? I did not hear you come in. What's wrong, Wolf? You don't look well at all. Uh, I'm so sick, Stylish. Wait, I'll make you some soup right away. Come on, you should be in bed. Really? You'll look after me, is that so? Of course, Wolf. That's what friends are for. He was about to fall asleep when... Wake up, Wolf! Wake up! Your soup is ready! It would be great if I got some sleep. You'll get to sleep, but first eat the soup. Open your mouth. Open your mouth wide. Yikes! This soup is so spicy! Wolf, this soup will make you better. It warms you up. Come on. I won't. I won't. Wolf, I'm telling you, open. Mommy! Ah! Come on again. If you want to get well soon. The wolf's mouth got burned and he ate all the soup against his will. Okay, you can go to sleep now. Water! What? Give me water! My mouth burned! Sure, water is very good for you. Let's drink it. But this water is hot! You're not supposed to drink cold water when you're sick. I did not ask for cold water, but this is hot! Wolf, don't whine. Drink it all now. Go to bed now. Get well soon. The wolf was finally able to fall asleep when suddenly... Wolf! Get up! Eh? What? Uh, what is it now? Get up! I'll put a towel on your back. Why? Because it'll absorb the sweating. Fine. Do it now and leave. I want to sleep. It'll keep you warm. Can I go to sleep now? Of course, you need to sleep so you can get better. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. Yes, you should. Look, I'm going to sleep. Yes, go to sleep. At first, the wolf had a sweet dream of running on the warm sand. Then a storm broke out and the wolf began to freeze. when he awoke to see... Stylish! What's wrong, Wolf? Nothing! Nothing! I'm breathing! I don't have a blanket! Patients with a fever shouldn't be heated, Wolf. You have one, so you need to break that fever. <laughs> what I have done to deserve this? I want a blanket! No blankets! But since you're awake, a cold shower will be good for you. Sh -sh -sh shower uh, uh, I took my last shower when I accidentally fell into the river last year. <laughs> I, uh, well, wolves do not take showers. I don't want to hear objections. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. Stylish filled the bathtub with cold water. 
I guess it wasn't such a bad idea after all. I'm... I'm feeling a little better. You see? It was for your own good. Get well soon. Uh, I've been a little unfair to you. Thank you so much. You don't need to thank me. I'm staying until you get better. Come on, let's get you dressed up. Dress up for what? I don't dress up. Wolf, don't dress up. Besides, nobody is coming to visit. Oh, Wolf, you're doing it so you can feel better. You do it for yourself, not others. Come out now. In the end, the wolf did what Stylish said, as he couldn't convince her. La 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 la! You look great, Wolf! Don't you think so? Great! This is really great! I knew you would like it! Can I go to sleep now? First, you have to drink the water with honey. Huh? With honey? Okay, I'll drink it! Ah! What is this? Water with honey. There's a little bit of black pepper too. Black pepper? Enough is enough. Get out of my house. I'll take care of myself. What a pity. Your fever is high again. What a pity. You think I'm a bad friend? Please, please leave. I can take care of myself. But Wolf... <laughs> I won't drink iced water when there's a drastic temperature change and I make sure to wear a jacket in cold weather. Good for you. Now go to sleep. Should I go to sleep now? Yes, you should get some sleep. And you won't wake me up, right? Why would I do that, Wolf? You need to sleep so you can get better. The wolf once again goes to sleep. But... Wolf, get up! Let me change the towel on your back. Uh, help! Help me, please! Help! A few days later, the wolf recovered and he went to the farm for a visit. Oh, it feels great to be healthy again. I need to talk to Stylish and give her a piece of my mind. Stylish! <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I'll take good care of you. Let me make a hot soup first. Get well soon. Stylish! Stylish! Help! Wolf is running in the forest in a panicky way. Stylish! Ouch! Ouch! What's the matter, Wolf? Uh, um, I... Apples! Uh, trees! <sighs> I don't understand, Wolf. What happened? Come! Come with me! Wolf grabbed Stylish by the arm and led her to the apple orchard because he was so panicked that he couldn't utter the words. Oh, no! See? I'm talking about this! It turns out that there wasn't one single apple in the apple orchard. What happened to the apples? I don't know, but what if this is just the beginning? What if first the apples, then the bananas, and, and then the eggs disappear? My eggs! I can live without my eggs! Stop it, Wolf! Stay calm! Let's figure out what happened. Stylish and Wolf walked through the fruit garden. They asked everyone they came across. But nobody knew anything until... Wolf! Stylish! Help me! Who are you? Have you met? Princess! 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 With these clothes! Shh! Wolf, don't you see? She's Snow White! Stylish, I need your help! 
Sure. What happened, princess? The evil queen stole all my clothes. Whenever I tried to get clothes, she hurled stones from the tower. She gathered all the apples using magic. Now she throws apples. Wow! The evil queen is really wicked. That means she stole our apples. What can we do? Help me recover my clothes. Then I'll prove to my dad that she's a bad queen. Can you help me? Okay, I'm in. I... Uh, I have some work to do. Um, which stuff? <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Something will happen to me again, but... Okay, okay. Snow White, Stylish and Wolf made their way to the castle, just as Snow White had said. The Queen was waiting in the tower and the guards guarded her belongings. Let me go first. Okay, okay, we are behind you. A stone is heading your way. More right, be careful. Now left, an apple is coming. Apple? Ah, I got it. Stylish picked up a few apples while avoiding the stones and finally got close enough to the guards. Excuse me, can I get back Snow White's clothes? No, I can't do that. Those are the Queen's orders. But they are Snow White. I'm sorry. What if I give you three apples? You know what? We're hungry. The Queen hasn't fed us in days. Okay then, I'll give you these apples if you give me the clothes. For three apples? I can only give you one pair of pants. Hmm, all right. I'm going to go gather more apples. Stylish took the pants and went back to Snow White and explained what had happened. So all we need to do is pick more apples? Uh, I can do that. Come on then. Wolf, Snow White and Stylish tried to approach the tower together. But it was harder than it seemed. Picking apples while avoiding stones was exhausting. To the right, Snow White! Ah, be careful! Wolf, look behind! Oh, uh, it, it almost hit my head! Oh, ouch! Mom! I got an apple! Me too! Mommy! One more apple! I'm taking these to the guard. I suppose he'll give us a t-shirt for two apples. Oh! Why do all the stones come in my direction? Cast a wolf. Four, five, six, seven. I can get my summer dress with seven apples. Mommy! Ah, I got an apple. Ah, no, this is a stone too. Come on, download our game now. Collect the apples and create your own Snow White style. Princess, I got a t-shirt. Okay, now I'm going to get my dress. Wolf, be careful, on the left. Ouch! It was coming straight for my tail! My beautiful tail! Come on, focus! You haven't caught an apple yet! Stylish! Do you think Snow White will give us a few apples after collecting all the clothes? I don't know, Wolf. We collect the apples to take the clothes back. Maybe there will be no apples left. Lots of apples! One apple! Uh, two apples! Whee! Ooh, what are those lights? The evil queen is casting a spell, stylish. Don't let her put you under her spell. Oh, I'm stunned! What is that? She turned Wolf into a frog! Don't worry, he will return to normal in 3 to 5 seconds. Wolf! Oh, Mommy! What was that? Suddenly, I felt like eating flies! Ugh, disgusting! 
Snow White, Wolf and Stylish spent all day picking up apples and avoiding the evil queen's spells and stones. Then, piece by piece, they took back Snow White's clothes. Thank you very much, friends. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, you look like a real princess. And you don't look like a frog anymore. Oh, <laughs> she kissed me. Thank you so much for everything. I wish I could return the favor. In fact, Wolf has been craving apples all day. Are there any apples left that he can have? Apples? But we gave all the apples to the guards. Hey, I have a better idea. Let's go to the palace. To the palace? To the, to the palace? N n now? But, but, but my outfit is not suitable. Never mind that, Wolf. It doesn't matter. Think about the delicious food we'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Download our game now! Collect the apples and create your own Snow White style! No! No! No way! Genius had been after the wolf all day long because he wanted to ask for a small favor. But Wolf, please. No means no. But I can't do it without you. Have you lost your mind, genius? Please say yes. Do you think I'm crazy to agree to get myself cut in half? I like my body, you know. I wouldn't be actually cutting you. It's a show, an illusion. No. Wait a second. Let's see what's behind Wolf's ear. There's nothing behind my ear. Ta-da! It's an egg. Oh boy! Golly gosh! How did it get there? Do you want this egg to be yours? Yes! Yes, of course! Then all you need to do is let me cut you in half. Never! Not even for an egg! What about doing it for a flower, then? You tell me! Well, what if I pull a rabbit out of my hat? No way! Watch and see. Abracadabra. Ta-da! You've got to be kidding me! Are you a magician now? No, Wolf. It's just sleight of hand. How did you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. Well, a wolf never gets cut in half. And why does it have to be me? Go, go butcher someone else! No, this trick was planned with you in mind. Would you look at that? His tricks include cutting me! But Wolf, it's just pretending! It didn't matter what Genius said, he couldn't convince the wolf to help him. He went home feeling defeated. Genius is crazy, crazy! How can I agree to be cut in half? Oh, I'm hungry now. Maybe, maybe there's another egg behind my ear. Nothing. Hey, 
That egg came behind my ear, so it's basically mine! Hey, genius! And the moment you've all been waiting for, Genius the Magnificent will cut his sister in half. Oh boy, is he gonna? Dang, he's actually cutting her. I can't look. Ooh. Artist, stop moving so I can cut you correctly. Oh my, that's barbaric. I should call the police. Uh, why? There was a knock on Genius's door. It was the wolf and the police. What's wrong, officer? Says him, officer! He's gone insane! Let's see what's happening first, shall we? I'm getting ready for my show at the fair tonight. You should definitely see it. The wonders of Genius the Magnificent. Uh, Wolf, you call me for this? Don't you ever waste my time. It's a magic show. But, 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 uh... Hi there, Wolf. L look, look, who was split in half and is still talking. Ha 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 ha. I told you it wasn't real, Wolf. It's an illusion. Come on, just say yes. It'll be more fun with you. Look, there's something behind your ear again. Oh boy, another egg. It wasn't there when I checked, though. So what do you say? It's your last chance. I said no. Very well. Then I'll tell everyone that you were too scared to help me. You wouldn't do that. Sure I would. I'll tell them that Artist was more courageous. Oh, don't do that! And you would miss a standing ovation from the audience. Standing ovation, you say? Sure. Everyone would be watching us. And everyone on the farm and the forest would see how brave you are. Are you telling me the truth? Don't worry, on you go. I can do it without you. Before I go, will you show me how to do it? Maybe then I'll say yes. Hooray! Hooray! Genius showed the wolf how he hides the eggs in his sleeve. The wolf got a little upset when he found out there were actually no eggs behind his ear. You see? And that's my hat. There's a hidden compartment. What about cutting someone in half? That's not magic either! Of course not! Put on these shoes! They're just like my feet! Why would I wear them? Just wear them! And get in the box! When I close the panel, you'll pull your feet, but the shoes will stay there! Let's see, uh, like this? Yes, exactly like that. And then I'll pretend to cut here with a plastic sword. Uh, is that all? There's nothing to be afraid of at all. Sure I can do that. And everyone will see how brave I am. Indeed they will. Ladies and gentlemen, now for our great trick. Please welcome to the stage, Wolf! Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. The wolf got in the box and Genius closed the panel. It's time to show everyone how good of an actor I am! Oh! Oh boy, oh boy, what's happening to me? Help me, help me! Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Now for the big moment. I'm cutting the wolf in half. I am Genius the Magnificent. Wait, 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 wait! I couldn't pull my feet, help! Genius cuts the box in half.
Hey, Wolf, are you okay? Oh, what have I done? Wait, 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 just kidding. <laughs> oh, Wolf, you and your pranks. One day, someone knocked on the door at Stylish's house. Stylish! Stylish! I wasn't expecting anyone. Who could that be? Oh, Ruffle, hi! <laughs> What's up? Stylish! It's been a while since we last saw each other. Did someone say Ruffle? The wolf stood by the window to listen to the conversation inside. Ruffle, you look so beautiful. <laughs> I've been planning to have a picnic for a long time, so I need a dress for that occasion. What? Ruffle is having a picnic? Or, or is she planning a surprise for me? Okay, Ruffle, how about a blue dress? You'll be as beautiful as a blue sky. I'm not sure. I can't picture it. Hmm, okay. How about green? Just like a lush forest. I'm not sure. All right, then. How about a yellow dress? Bright like the sun! I don't know, Stylish. It's hard to imagine it without seeing the dresses. Well, I can't do all these dresses in one day. It'll take a few days, I'm sorry. Hmm, I thought you would know what kind of dress would suit me best. How would I know what you like? I wish there were a way I could see how the dresses would fit even without them. Ah, my dear Ruffle, anything would suit you fine. Hmm, actually there is. I'll be right back. I'm not here to have pictures drawn, Stylish. I need a dress urgently. Wait, Ruffle, don't be so impatient. Oh, it looks great. Wolf couldn't help himself and joined the conversation. Well, Ruffle. Wolf? What are you doing here? None of your concern, Ruffle. If you're dressing up for me, I just want you to know I don't really like yellow. Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why would I dress up for you? What? Are you dressing for someone else? Wolf, would you leave us alone? We're very busy. No, no, tell me. Whom are you dressing up for? For elephant? Or lion? Wolf, have a nice day. Stylish closed the window and they continued choosing dresses. This looks nice, but I want something else. I need a summer dress. Like this? The wolf tried to decipher what they were saying. That's it. So, you are going to meet someone else, huh? I need to find out who this guy is. Wolf pondered a little and came up with something. Ruffle wants a new dress for her date. So that means she's meeting someone who likes the dress. The wolf came back to the window and climbed in. He grabbed the patterns from the girl's hands. No way! Not until you tell me who you're having this picnic with! It's none of your business! Wolf grabbed the rest of the patterns from Ruffle's hand and escaped through the window. Is this it? No, it's not. Is this it? 
Neither is this. Ach, all of these are good for my ruffle. Wolf couldn't guess which dress Ruffle preferred. However, he started asking around to find the guy who'd like the dress. Hey, tell me! Do you like this dress? Oh, it's beautiful. Huh? What? Is Ruffle dressing up for you? What? What are you talking about? All I know is that this dress would be better in yellow. What about this dress? I don't like it that much. The first one is the prettiest, but it should be yellow. Wolf, are you looking for a gift for someone? Hmm, so it's not you. Wolf went to another house. Do you like this dress? Hmm, it should have patterns. The wolf continued. Do you like this dress? Do you like this dress? Do you like this dress? Wolf asked all possible suitors for Ruffle, but he couldn't find anyone that liked the dress. <sighs> Who is Ruffle dressing up for? Nobody liked these dresses! Meanwhile, Stylish had already made the dress for Ruffle. Oh, this is great! Just what I wanted! You look very beautiful! It will be a wonderful picnic! Thanks for everything! Ruffle spread her blanket on the floor, took sandwiches out of her basket, poured some juice and waited. Where is this guy? <laughs> hey, Ruffle! Here he is. Yes, Wolf? I went to the lion, the elephant, the tiger, the zebra. So tell me, who is invited to this picnic? Whom are you dressed up for? For someone very handsome, for someone who is cheerful, a little mischievous, but always loving. Who is he? Is he more handsome than me? <laughs> he is just as handsome as you. As much as me. Just as much as me. Fools. I wanted to play a little prank on you, Wolf. I prepared all this for you. I thought we could have a nice picnic together. Yippee! <laughs>